Hi there. You're watching the first video, which is step one in getting you into Himalaya.com. And some of you asked if there's a way to bypass all the Chinese. So prior to this video, I hope you did step zero, which was to install Google Translate. So now you're on the homepage of Himalaya.com. There's Chinese everywhere. So you may be wondering, how do I log in? So let's turn on Google Translate. When you turn it on, you notice there's something annoying happening, which is the Google Translate bar actually covers part of the menu items on Himalaya, but you could still see what some of those are. So you'll notice that there is one upload button and halfway down the page, there's an orange button that says login. In fact, you can click on the orange button here. So let's give it a shot you're taken to a pop-up window and what you need to do is ignore everything at the top and you'll notice at the bottom here third party account login and there are three icons the good news is they're actually colored so what you're looking for is the green icon uh, in other words the last icon for wechat i wish there's wechat written right below it to remind you unfortunately it doesn't so click on wechat this is where you see a QR code and please watch the next video to see how you log in using WeChat. At this point, you should have WeChat downloaded as well as part of your step zero. So let me show you another way. Instead of click on the orange button in the middle of the page, you could also pretend as if you already logged in. So uh, you can click on upload and you'll notice, wait a minute, you haven't logged in, therefore you can't upload an episode immediately. So again, you see three icons, now the orders is different. So make sure by color identification, it's a green icon. If you're color impaired, uh, you could aim for uh, the circle icon with the two bubbles. Uh, soon, sooner rather than later you will start to recognize some of these icons and designs that you're more familiar with so click on that same thing you're going to see a qr code there you go so i hope that was helpful and i'll see you in the next tutorial